What's going on guys, Ryan Rotolo here at the Crypto Fiend Studios, bringing you guys the hottest, the latest, and everything crypto related news. Today I just have a brief video for you guys of some good news in the crypto space. Yes, it's about time we have some good news in the crypto space. So let's just jump right into it. First off, with the market, what's going on? We're practically where we were yesterday. We're sitting around that 300 to $320 billion range, trying to really figure out what we want to do. We're rather stagnant right now, and Bitcoin's sitting roughly around $8,000. Uh, we aren't near our lows from the previous dip we just experienced, so that is nice to see. Uh, last night, we hit a low of 316 313 billion dollars in market cap and the previous dip back in february was 283 billion dollars in market cap where can we determine where we're going to go right now no no one can determine where we're going to go again the media is really controlling what's happening to the market the google news that we had yesterday that greatly greatly affected the market one platform can control the market that much you can damn expect we're going to be experiencing that through the whole adoption of cryptocurrencies. Um, so I'm not really sweating it. I understand Google's actions, why they're doing what they're doing. Um, I, I do think it's going to play a role on the adoption of cryptocurrencies a little bit, but overall, Google's not gonna stand in the way of what we want, the new technology that needs to be released to the world. Uh, so other than that, what's the good, good news for today? Bitcoin Lightning startup goes beta with Twitter CEO backing. This is a big deal, guys. The CEO of Twitter is supporting the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Uh, so I'm going to read the majority of this article because I don't want to miss any important information for you guys, so bear with me. A version of Bitcoin's much-anticipated Lightning Network is finally ready for real users. Announced today, California startup Lightning Labs has officially launched a beta version of its software, making available what investors and project leads say is the first thoroughly tested version of the tech to date. This means that users can now leverage to Lightning Network to send Bitcoin and Litecoin to other users, all without settling those transactions on the blockchain. So right now in the beta, if you do have access to the beta, you'll actually be able to send Bitcoin and Litecoin transactions without actually settling them on the blockchain, you know, like the history of the transaction. Uh, so while this software is one of several seeking to form a combined network that aims to make cryptocurrency transactions faster and cheaper, today's development effectively takes Bitcoin a step closer to new kinds of applications, such as Internet of Things payments and recurring billing. So this means that bitcoin can potentially be a lot more than we think it can be right now it's not gonna it, it could potentially not be a simple peer-to-peer -peer transactable currency it could be on the internet of things network it could be huge uh so this is one step closer to you know that huge scalability for bitcoin uh so as of right now it is still in beta testing so it's not you know out in the world but if it does get out in the world, this is going to be excellent for mass adoption because we're not going to have to deal with slow transactions anymore and super, super high fees. And then in the future, they could be implementing uh, these new technologies like the Internet of Things payments and recurring billing. Uh, so that's because similar to Bitcoin, the Lightning Protocol isn't managed by any one person or company. It's a series of compatible technologies. Bitcoin-centric startup Blockstream released a candidate version 1.0 of the Lightning Protocol specifications in January. And Async, another like-minded like startup, already offers a live yet unpredictable beta software that works with Bitcoin. So there, there's been a couple companies working with creating the lightning network um, but some have not been super successful or some are still kind of risky and unpredictable but so far the lightning labs is the most in-depth tested lightning network that they are considering releasing to the public still the lightning lab software is believed to be the most mature software to date and investors are using to launch the single to single their interest also revealed today, Lightning Labs has raised $2.5 million from nearly a dozen investors, including Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, Square Capital Executive Jacqueline Ressis, Litecoin creator Charlie Lee, and former PayPal COO David Sachs. These are big names in the crypto space. So it's really nice to see that these other companies that are not involved with cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, the C CEO of Twitter, the CEO of PayPal, uh, the former CEO of PayPal are 
investing into you know bitcoin for the future growth of it investing in the technology to improve it so that is awesome to see and this is a big deal uh, for the future development of crypto so while dorsey and resis declined to comment other than to confirm their invest that they invested Sachs was vocal in in his belief that the beta release marks a crucial moment in bitcoin's history and his quote was lightning is the most important protocol being built on bitcoin and lightning labs is the best developer of that protocol uh, so we have a little quote down here i want to read for you guys it's something the entire community has been focused on and working towards the better part of two years now it's really the the accumulation of a lot of work by many people not just Light, lightning labs we see it as a very important piece of scaling solutions for bitcoin and perhaps other digital currencies as well so that was the fellow the fellow investor ben davenport cto at the blockchain security company bitgo that made that statement uh so overall this is really nice to hear that everyone's kind of working together they have an article about team spirit i'm not going to go and i'm not going to read that article but that's talking about how many many people worked together to get this out there to get this developed uh so it's nice to see that this is going to be happening this potentially could be really really helping cryptocurrencies and not a lot of people you know it was i think like 1800 people around 1800 people we'll say roughly 2000 people working on this project to help millions and millions of people if not billions of people in the future uh, so it is nice to see that people aren't just sitting around and dealing with what we have we're trying to make it better we're trying to fix it so we can uh, you know have the the adoption of google have the adoption of all these big companies and they can accept us and uh, we can you know work around stuff uh, so booting up still it's a release like that's likely to spur interest and engagement given that developers are already spending money over the network regardless of warnings as such stark not ex now expects people with the skills to host their own bitcoin or litecoin nodes to add litecoin labs free software to mix for, for quicker cheaper transactions already roughly a thousand nodes implemented lightning software investors in the project believe to release with will boost that growing number so currently there's a little over a thousand nodes using the lightning network uh, of course they hope to grow that number as they get the official release out but it's as simple as downloading software onto your current node uh, so there's no reason not to use the lightning network and once all these big platforms do start using the lightning network you know like exchanges etc uh, all these other smaller platforms are going to have no choice but to keep up with the competition so it's bound to happen unfortunately this will affect you know miners because they will get less less for transactions uh but as of right now this is big news for cryptocurrencies in general not just bitcoin uh so that's what's going on right now in the market we have some good news about the lightning network it's currently in beta testing uh it, they don't have an official statement when it's going to be released to the public but it, they're doing very in-depth testing they're not just you know making it saying okay it's good and throwing it out into the world they're making sure that this is going to be the lightning network software that everyone is going to use uh, so that is awesome to see that the ceo of twitter and the the former paypal coo and charlie lee are all supporting this as well as a uh, square capital executive uh, so this is all the news i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this one uh, this is some pretty exciting stuff who knows maybe we can see some crypto payments on twitter eventually or probably not paypal but who knows in the crypto space uh, so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are interested in joining uh if you are interested in any uh icos go ahead and join the ico hub it's the new channel that i just uh, created a couple weeks ago and it's doing very well right now we're starting to get some icos up on that channel uh, so if you are interested in icos i know some of you guys are some some of you guys aren't consider subscribing to the ico hub uh, it's going to be a great place to really get some information about new projects in the space and we have a couple more projects this week that are going to be coming onto this platform so consider subscribing for everything ico related as well as consider subscribing to this channel everything crypto related and i will catch you guys in the next video Thank you.